This is a tutorial for configuring and installing an IW4M dedicated server on Linux. So basically you want to start off by SSHing to your VPS or dedicated server with PuTTY or whatever SSH client you use. So first off, I have already downloaded the dedicated files. Um, at least the main game files, which you can get from Steam, or there's probably some download floating around somewhere. But anyway, uh, in my main folder, I just have the bare files that I need. So, um, first off, or rather second, I'm going to go ahead and get the IW4M files. I'm using R20, which is the latest at this moment. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and download them for my Dropbox which is at that link. I may be posting public links soon but um, it'll download and as it's a zip file um, by default Linux usually doesn't allow you to extract uh, zip files so you're gonna probably have to install unzip which I think I may already have but uh, it's just apt git install unzip and as I already have it, it's not installing, but it should install for you. So once you do that, you're going to want to unzip. It's pretty simple. The file that I just downloaded. Um, and there it is. Now you have your basic files in there. Uh, go ahead and remove the folder. Because I don't need it. Alright, so now um, there's also another file you need. The RAR, or RAW, rather, .iwd. Um, which I've also uploaded and I will probably be putting a public link to in the description but um, you're gonna have to CD to your main folder and get the file and it'll copy over and there we go so now I'm gonna go back to the main folder and I have all the required files for the actual IW4M server, but we're going to have to install some dependencies in order to get it to run properly. So first, um, you're going to have to install Wine. Um, I'm using 1.2, but there's also 1.1, 1.3. 1.2 works fine for me, so I'm happy with it. But whatever's easiest for you. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get and install 1.2. I don't know if... Okay, I already have it installed, so it'll go through and install normally for you. Uh, it may take a couple minutes, but as I already have it installed, it's not going to ask me to reinstall it. So once that's done, you have your Wine installed. Now you're going to have to um, install a VNC server. I use Tight VNC. There are several others that you can use, but I'm fine with this. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, oops, app get install Tight VNC server. This will take a few seconds and. Um, it doesn't take all that long to set up, but it's pretty lightweight. All right, so it's finished now. Um, in order for the VNC server to look right and have a terminal terminal emulator, uh, you're gonna have to install another package called Xterm. So um, I think I already have this one installed as well, and that was a fail. But, uh, Yes, I already have it installed, but that's just as quick as VNC server. It doesn't take long at all. So once that's installed, you're going to also need Wine Tricks. So I'm going to go ahead and get install Wine Tricks. Um, and I forgot to mention at the beginning, I have this installed as well. So um, that doesn't take long to install. But I forgot to mention at the beginning that you're probably going to have to do apt get update, which basically just um, refreshes the package lists and gets the latest available version of every package. So um, to do that, you just do apt get update, and as you can see, it's checking all the directories and making sure it's up to date. But anyway, now that Wine Tricks is, is installed, I'm going to go ahead and start the VNC server. So it's pretty simple. With type VNC, you just type in VNC server. and I'll go ahead and I forgot I accidentally messed up and killed it but you should technically it should be on display one uh, if it's the first time starting it and um, I use tight VNC viewer just because it's the, the same thing so um, as you can see you basically type in the IP or domain address of your server and then you have the display which in my case since I didn't properly exit the first display 
um, it's going to be display two. So now I'm going to have to enter my password, which let's see if I can remember it. That was not it. Um, So I just remembered it. it is that which you're not going to see. But anyway, um, so now you have your Xterm terminal emulator and on VNC. So basically, uh, you have access to install the dependencies for IW4M. So first off, let's install the core fonts. So um, this is actually going to use Wine Tricks if you've installed it. You can also get the um, the just the bin file or whatever it is it's just a um, a file that you can download manually if you don't want to install it but installing is easier since you don't have to change the permissions or, or make sure you're in the right folder so with it installed you just type in wine tricks uh, and install actually you don't even do install just wine tricks and then I'll start with core fonts so basically it should load up wine tricks and start the download for the core fonts and as you can see the background here it's just basically downloading each thing and installing it um, so I'll pause this and then as soon as it's done I'll start it again all right so it's all finished and now I'm going to install the next dependency which is the VC runtime visual C++ runtime uh, so same as before it's wine tricks and then VC 2000 oops VC run 2008 and like before it will go ahead and start downloading it and this is a little bit different because it needs this display you can't install this stuff from this terminal since it needs the display to use the install wizard so yes I accept install and it usually doesn't take too long um, yeah as you can see it's pretty fast so the last dependency is the um, .NET Framework 2.0. So just like before, it's Wine Tricks and then .NET 20, and it'll just go ahead and download everything. And yeah, there it goes. Should bring up the install wizard. All right, there we go. Next, accept, install. All right, this usually takes a little bit longer, so I'm going to pause it and then resume when it's finished. All right, so it's all finished. Um, should shouldn't take all that long. Uh, but I guess it depends on the speed of your VPS, your dedicated server. All right, now that's finished, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the players folder. I'm going to um, go ahead and download a configuration file. This is just the stock file. Um, and I'll go through some of the, the options. So actually, let me go ahead and do it in here since I can't copy and paste on VNC, which is a kind of annoying thing, but I've gotten used to it. Um, so that we get that is not the right clipboard thing. All right, let me try this. There we go. All right, so I just put server config. It's pretty simple. So uh, if you don't have Nano, I recommend you install it with apt-get install Nano. Uh, it's much easier to use than VI, uh, but I'm just gonna go ahead and Nano server CFG. So it's just like the Alter IW configuration. You have your SV host name or the server name, max rate, the packet rate at which the server will send and receive uh, snaps, which is some other packet related thing, I believe, network FPS. They're pretty much all self-explanatory. Archon password, which is what you use to for remote administration. Of course, that's your uh, password if you want to password protect your server. Max ping, this will uh, kick after a certain amount of seconds for people that are AFK. Um, log sync. If you set it to one, B3 will work. Um, that will be the log name. 
course, that should actually be item 4M. Um, that was when you say something through Archon or B3, it'll um, just give the name console or whatever you set it to. So these are just the setup. Yeah, this is pretty self-explanatory. And then, um, let's see, your map rotation is the same as Ultra W. But, yeah, that's about it. So I'm going to go ahead and save that, and then go back to my main folder and create a file that will let me uh, auto, not auto start, but it saves some of the manual typing out of the command line each time. So um, I'll just call it iw4m start.sh, which is a shell script. So basically you're going to do wine um, iw4m.exe dash dedicated dash console that's for Linux you don't have to do that in Windows um, and then after that you can do your command line arguments so for instance um, I can do plus execute uh, server dot cfg but before I do that I'll actually set the player limit so something like um, party next players 18 and net port just say 28970 all right so now that should be good I'll go ahead and save it um, and by the way if you're not running your thing is root you're gonna have to mainly type in sudo nano sudo apt get install everything just to get it to run properly I just prefer root it's un insecure but or unsecure yeah but it's just easier for me. I don't like worrying about typing in sudo every single time or um, doing that. But uh, anyway, now that that's set up, basically you can go back to your VNC window, which I'll just go ahead and clear this out. Uh, and you have your let me go back. You have your start script which should be right there so now you're just going to run that with iw4m start.sh and I forgot I'm setting the permissions to uh, executable so iw4m start.sh and now I should be able to start it properly and ta-da it's loading up takes a while depending on your server and as you can see it's just like ultra IW I mean obviously the Windows version is a command line interface which is much better and more efficient than this but this works so um, I'll take a minute to load up and once it finishes Yeah, I forgot to mention you might want to put map rotate um, on your config file because otherwise it'll just start up and not actually load a map. So, and let's see, that's not good. Um, but you shouldn't get that. <laughs> Basically, um, I'm not sure, disconnected from Steam. I'm not sure what the issue is there, but it should work normally for you. Um, and do the normal map loading stuff if you've set up an ultra IW server but if you're at this far pretty much anything else can be solved simply and I mean if you have any questions just comment on this or send me a private message uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything I missed um, obviously if you want to do archon commands you can just type in the console like SV host name and it will give you that, you can change it. For um, starting mods, if you want to do that in your config file, let me go back to players. Um, it's probably, you can either do it in your config file and do something like um, set fs game mod slash whatever. Or you can also do the exact same thing in the command line or the start script. 
and put in plus set fs game mod slash blah blah blah. Um, also, another thing, as of now, with the revision 20, you do not need a, a, a key, dedicated key, in order to, for your serverless to be authorized, but in the future, most likely will be. So what you want to do is, after you dedicated in console, you put in the key, which you just put in a number, and the key, or whatever it is. Um, I think NT authority said something about possibly making it at for Linux. I don't know if that's actually um, used, but you can also, I believe, work around that. I think you have to have a quote or something. I've never used um, the license key feature on Linux. I've only used it on Windows, so I'm not 100% sure on that, but it's either just a default like that, or you have to use the quotes. Um, so that's taken care of um, and a future release probably will, will require the, the serial or key to run the server but anyway uh, I think that's about it but if I miss anything I'll post on YouTube or something like that but thanks for watching and I'll probably be putting up some more videos soon um, relating to the 4 Delta 1 IW 4M project but anyway, thanks for watching.